Hey everybody, welcome back to the Finnor Moon channel. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick figure review of the Vintage Collection ATST Raider from The Mandalorian uh, TV show. Oh my gosh, I I absolutely love that TV show. It's um, it really delivered as far as a uh, as the first the first step in live action. Uh, TV for Star Wars, which was great. Uh, I think that it really, it really delivered. So, um, which is why I was super excited to get this, uh, this ATST Raider. Um, I really enjoyed that episode uh, of The Mandalorian, uh, where they go to Sorgan uh, and help the the village uh, from the the Raiders. Uh, very Seven Samurai. Uh, vibe and it also had a lot of callbacks to like episodes of the Clone Wars, uh, like pirates where they're on Felucia, um, and they're helping the farmers against Hondo and his and his whole band of of pirates. But uh, before we jump into this, um, before we jump into this review of the of the actual vehicle and the figure that come along with it, uh, we're gonna take a look at the box. So. As you can see here, as you can see here, we have um, absolutely gorgeous box. Um, a nice callback to the to the vintage Star Wars um, vehicles and toys. I love the photography that goes on in the in uh, on the packaging, where uh, you've got the nice feature of our Clatoonian Raider right here. Um, this ATSD really just shines on this. Uh, I like the the little red stickers that give advertisements for stuff on the front. Uh, some people don't like them. They would rather have more of the art. It doesn't bother me. I, I actually really enjoy stuff like that because it's it's just a callback to the times. Got the nice Kenner logo down here in the bottom right. Now, on the side of the box, you have, uh, of course, the Mandalorian logo, which I think looks absolutely incredible on Vintage Collection uh, packaging. Um, but you have... Uh, a little bit of a diagram of uh, of the ATST Raider. You've got some of the features on here, like the uh, the opening cockpit on the top, where you can put the ATST Raider in there, showing where you can turn all the guns uh, and turrets on this vehicle, and talking about the articulated legs. I love that they have soft goods on this as well. But uh, the back of the box is. An awful lot like the front of the box, except it has a couple extra little warnings and things at the bottom. And yeah, the other side of the box is very similar. So we're going to push this to the back here. And so now we're going to bring up the the actual vehicle. But we'll, we'll I want to go with the figure now. So I love this figure. Uh, I'm just a big fan of like the your average everyday scum and villainy though. So that's kind of right up my alley. Um, from the get-go, you can kind of see that this figure is a little bit of a kit bash. Um, a lot of bit of a kit bash, actually. I mean, the helmet and some of the features like the armor on top are newly sculpted. Um, but as you can see, this is just the same head that they used for Kithaba one of the skiff guards. And if you look really closely underneath, it is the, uh, it's the same body and same legs, same arms, same hands as the, the classic weak way skiff guard. Uh, that's so hard to find now, but they've just painted it. Um, and then put this other armor on top of it. And that's totally fine. I don't, it doesn't bother me one bit. Smart on you, Hasbro, for, you know, using pieces you already have to create a new figure and give us something. But uh, as far as articulation, the figure has a ball-jointed head, has hinged elbows, ball-hinged elbows, or sorry, shoulders, uh, has hinged elbows, and it has swivel hands. There is... Um, there is articulation at the waist, but because of the armor that he's wearing, uh, it's kind of limited. You can't really move it. 
Um, but he has a swivel hip. He has ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So um, the articulation is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'll put his helmet back on. He's got a removable helmet. It comes with a blaster. Now this blaster that's on his on his chest actually does not come out, but it does look pretty dang cool. Um, but yeah, uh, the paint applications I think are fantastic. He's got this nice kind of dirty wash on, on this, uh, cloth here. He looks tattered and ragged. Like he's, he's living a, a pirate's life. You know, he's living out in the woods, just waiting until he can, uh, prey on the next uh, innocent village and steal all their krill, I think is what the they were taking from the farmers, krill farmers. But yeah, really, really great figure. Absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to set him down over here, and then we're going to take a look at this beauty. So I want to start off by looking at some of these like markings, like I love that there's skull and crossbones. The detail on this is amazing. I love the, like these like tribal intimidating, like face paint that they've put on the, the Walker, the, uh, soft goods. Uh, that was a really nice surprise for me because it's just something that I've never thought about on a, on a vehicle, a Star Wars vehicle. Why in the world would there be soft goods? But I love it. Hasbro keep bringing it on. Um, as you can see, uh, one of the legs is painted to kind of a, kind of a Auburny brown, brown red color, um, with the tribal kind of paintings uh, on the side and the soft goods. And then the, the other leg is bright red and with the same painting and stuff, there is, let me get this guy up here. There is a net, I guess if you, you capture some kind of prey and you just want to stick that person in there, you can haul that over here. It's all dirty. It's got like a, it, they definitely made it look like it was a, uh, a little worse for wear. Um, the eye ports, of course, still swing open. It's the same articulation uh, in this vehicle as it was in the previous releases of this ATST. This is the same ATST as the Black Series, three and three quarter inch um, one. So you got the opening hatch on the top. And then you also have the entire opening, oops, the entire opening top here to get access to the, the pilots chairs and stuff. And on the inside, there's lots of really good articulation as well. Not articulation, uh, paint applications. It's really good. So, so yeah, all in all, I uh, love how that's probably how many times, like how many victims they've taken. Like they've done a really good job, uh, on this, on this vehicle. And a lot of people had complaints, uh, with the previous release of this, of this in the black series about how it stands and I really I mean of course you know you gotta fiddle with it for just a minute but I've never really had any problem with with this vehicle as far as being able to stand it up uh, I think it's done a great job and I I really hope that Hasbro keeps up the good work uh, I, putting out Mandalorian stuff because I, I they can make a mint they can make a, uh, a lot of money marketing for the Mandalorian in the three and three quarter inch because fans are hungry. We didn't get much for the, the Rise of Skywalker. The three and three quarter inch line is, the 5POA line is dead. Uh, and so we're itching for stuff. We can't wait to get our hands on it. So if they, the more Mandalorian stuff they put out, the more money they're going to make because it will sell. So, uh, I mean, the ITT, the Imperial Troop Transport, looks amazing, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Uh, I've got, I just got Cara Dune in the mail not too long ago. I'm going to do a video for her. And then, uh, and then I also, I'm waiting on my Mandalorian to come in the mail. But, yeah, oh my gosh, that figure is going to be incredible. I'll be sure to put up a review of him on there. But, yeah, we're starting to accumulate some some pretty good Mandalorian figures. 
But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got. Uh, until next time, uh, if you're not subscribed, uh, please, um, please do us a favor. If you like these videos, if you want us to keep making these videos, um, give us a like, uh, subscribe to our channel, uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at, the F at Findor Moon. Uh, I also do a lot of, uh, action figure photography on my Instagram page. Um, and so uh, I'm trying to be more active on my YouTube uh, right now. So if you if you like what you see here, just uh, give us a like, subscribe to us, like us, follow us, uh, do all the things. But until next time, uh, may the force be with you. Godspeed, Rebels.